Easter Seals Arcs are probably the only set of society that really can't live, work, or play on their own. We serve children as young as uh, infant, and we walk through the whole lifestyle with both the client or the folks we serve and the families uh, through retirement. We work with them and, and uh, train and empower them to work, live, and play out in the community. The uh, families we serve, the parents are in this ball game um, for their whole life. Basically, overnight, one night, he started rejecting mother's milk, and his belly began to swell and became very tender. And what the disease does is it basically necrotizes or kills tissue, so it was killing his large intestine. Of course, the hope is eventually that I actually go all to oral feedings. He's got something called visual cortical impairment, which means that his eyes are working fine, but his brain can't interpret the signal. It was at his six month checkup when we discovered he'd also received brain damage. His ventricles are oversized, full of water, and he has something called scalloping near the back of his brain where um, there's too much water essentially between his brain and the skull. The word cerebral palsy wasn't mentioned until his like 16 month yeah. checkup down at Riley. Essentially he'll have a shortened lifespan because some sort of virus is going to get him. That was a devastating blow because we had never heard anything like that. In fact, through the entire process, our questioning was, is he going to have a normal life? Is he going to have a normal life expectancy? She was born in December of 84. Uh, during her first year, everything seemed right on target. She uh, had all of her developmental milestones on time. She sat up and rolled over and walked, and uh, then she turned two. And during that year, between age two and three, um, I started to get a little worried because the, the speech was not coming along. When the speech therapist said that there was a problem, I would have to say I wasn't surprised, but I was still kind of shocked, emotionally shocked, diagnosis of moderate mental retardation. Not quite sure how I was going to deal with this. What's going to happen to my son or daughter after I'm gone? and all of the programs and all of the donations and all of the services kind of ball up and add up to you know, the answer. Uh, trust, we're, we're gonna take care of it. If Xander wasn't here, he would either have a, a, a live-in nurse or somebody like that taking care of him and that would have probably deprived him of the experience of growing up with normal kids and he gets that here. Sometimes people ask me what she would do if we didn't have a place like ARC. One of us would have had to quit work, essentially. I frankly have no idea. And they said the word, you know, on staff nurse and that it was, you know, special needs kids with regular kids. She's very social and she needs people and she needs to be productive and she needs to be structured and all of these are reasonable things that people need. And it seemed to be better this way to have professionals care for them and have his therapies right here at the school. We just thought, why didn't we know about this the whole time? There's lots of energy in the room, lots of energy in the, in the program, lots of energy in the trainers, the teachers. Teachers and trainers get to know their clients very, very well. The clients feel comfortable with them. It's, a, it's a, definitely a bonding that goes on there. I made the band. Free fan club. <laughs> yeah. Hey Stacy, can you look at the camera? Oh yeah, he loves the camera. What's that smelly stuff? Quiche? No. Kimchi? Kimchi. Who made that slop? Oh. <laughs> you. <laughs> you. <laughs> I think the biggest thing to me about Easter Seals Arc is that you can walk down and there could be someone you've never seen before and they're like, hi Xander, hi Xander's mom, have a good day. And 
you have no idea who they are, but you know at some point they've had interaction. And, and it's just always cheerfulness, it's always happiness, it's always love outpouring toward him. You know, it's always a hello, it's always a goodbye, it's always uh, nothing but kindness. And, you know, as a parent with a special needs kid, that's all you want. the time that a family member has walked through all of the services offered with their son or daughter, they have that trust and they have that contentment, the fact that their son or daughter is safe with us after they're gone. You know, I really believe that we're called to give. If you're not giving what you can, then you're not going to be a fulfilled person. We're standing here at Lot 18 Hafner which is the location of a group home Granite Ridge Builders is finishing for Easter Seals Ark. This will be your brand new kitchen. One of the real exciting things about these group homes is it provides an environment for the individual to really grow. We've seen individuals come into these home environments and really, really growing and maturing and doing something for themselves and feeling good about it. This is my dad. He's, he's a really good partner. I never thought I could dance. That's my dad. <laughs> I got two medals, two ribbons at the Mario Coliseum on Special Olympics. Ballroom dancing is very hard to do, but it's lots of fun. Anytime I get tied up in the office and, and, and I'm moving paper and, and I begin to forget, why I'm doing what I do. I can take a walk through the childcare, the adult day, or on across the way to the workshop, and, and, it, and it shows me real quick, it reminds me real quick why I, I still work here at Easter Seals Arc. When we come to Easter Seals Arc here, that's what we get. That's what we need the most, is that feeling of love and support from people who understand what we're going through. I just always feel so sad that he's such an awesome kid, but... You know. We do think about it quite a lot, and of course we try to fill his days with as much joy as possible. I really feel um, very lucky to know that um, so many people here really do love him. That really helps. You're a happy boy, aren't you? You're a happy boy. Yeah. Yes, Dad. Please give money, Jesus. Your involvement, without any doubt, will help to change lives.